something. I don't really care what defense I'm looking at. Here, it looks like we have a cover two. The A route probably would have been open as well, but you can see this route, it's getting open at 40 to 45 yards. There is no zone drop that you can set to 40 yards, which is one of the reasons this is one of the glitchiest routes in the game. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable mutt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff the Mad Cheese, as always. Got part two of my run and gun offense that I just put out yesterday. If you guys didn't catch the run plays, I will have a link in the description if you guys want to check that out. But I got a one play touchdown for every single defense in the game in today's video. Other than that, the formation I'm in, again, is the Gun Trips TE. As far as the pass plays go, one of my favorites is probably the verticals. That play beats any man or zone. It's especially good against cover four. We have a lot of really good plays that go in the opposite direction as well. The best one is probably the PA slot corner. The one that I know I'm going to show, though, is going to be the halfback swing. This play right here, like I said, it's a one-play touchdown against every single defense in the game. Let's go ahead and start off by picking that. But before we do, I'm just going to make sure that I have my fastest receiver in this spot, not necessarily my best receiver, although realistically, it would work the same way with uh, DeAndre Hopkins. He's just a little bit overpowered because of his route running and stuff like that. So I'd much rather have a lesser and faster receiver. Other than that, let's go ahead and let's pick the play one more time. Like I said, I can do a whole breakdown of this offense. If you guys want to see that, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. But the play is going to be the halfback swing. On the defensive side, we're just going to start off with cover two like we always do and work our way back. Now, I'm going to run a lot of these plays from the hash mark, either uh, the, the to the open side of the field or the short side of the field. But ultimately, it really doesn't matter. You can run these plays from anywhere. It just makes sense to run it from the short side because you'll see that it takes the receiver a lot longer to cross the field. The receiver is going to be attacking because of how these receivers are so spread out. So if you run it from like the open side of the field, it's going to take longer for the play to happen. You'll see that when I when I condense this, uh, when I move this over, you'll see how condensed the receiver package is. You can see here it's a lot closer together, which means it's going to cross the field a lot faster. So as far as the setup goes, I'm just going to put the Y route here on a streak or on a fade. Doesn't really matter matter block my tight end block my running back and then put the b route here on a slant now that slant's gonna be a solid check down if you guess wrong on you know if you don't guess the right defense uh you can also put them in a drag but against cover two it's kind of important to put them on a slant and then you're gonna see if i can just buy time in the pocket which should be too pretty easy considering how much blocking i gave myself we're gonna have a wide open receiver coming across the two safeties now that there i probably could have threw it a little bit sooner or even a little bit later but you can see how this receiver gets across once he breaks that uh, that zone chuck there, once he's about here, I could throw it at any point in time for an easy catch and run. Now, like I said, I could also hold it and wait till he gets you know f further across the field because you can see he's past the other safety. The, the other safety just completely lags off to, and covers nobody. So ultimately, it's really my choice. This guy's open pretty much the entire time. We'll go and we'll do that one more time. And we're going to see how we're going to have, you know, pretty much the exact same results. Like I said, the X route there, I could throw this at any point in time. It's really up to me how much of a catch and run I want to make. But you can see it's wide open. That'll have the exact same effect against cover two man. So let's go and let's pick that again and we'll continue with cover two man. The exact same setup as cover two. Just going to do the, you know, the slant and the, um, the streak combination. That's all we really have to do. So now you're going to see how once again... This B route here just gets really gone this time. I mean, I don't know why uh, he gets he gets open even easier against cover two man than he did against cover two zone because he was way ahead of the receiver. But we'll do that one more time. Like I said, mostly just blocking. Uh, that's pretty much the the majority of the adjustment here. As you can see, that X route is wide open again as he's just he just gets behind both safeties at this point. 
Now against cover three, it is pretty much the same setup, and you just have to put the B route on a streak instead of the Y route. That's pretty much it. And then you put the Y route on a slant. I'll block my running back again. The A route actually does a pretty good job of pulling that cover three cornerback too. So I'm gonna leave him alone. And you can see how we have a very easy one play touchdown over the top against cover three. Now I threw that ball a little bit late, but you can see it was wide open. Like I was saying, this particular route is one of the better routes in the game at pulling this cornerback to a point where he almost comes to a match because there's nothing over here. If there was somebody else over here, it'd be a different story. But since he's the only receiver, he's gonna pull that cornerback far away from his deep third responsibility. And at that point, you're just waiting for this receiver to cross over the top. And you can see he's like 20, 30 yards away. There's no way he's going to catch up to this. This play is really all about the pass lead. That's going to probably be the most important part of this play. You have to get a pretty dramatic pass lead to this X route. The more dramatic, the better. As you can see there, we get much better separation from the cover three cornerback. Now, cover three pre-snap looks a lot like cover one man. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to pick that next. We're going to match with cover one hole. Now, this here, I can attack multiple ways, but I find the best way is to motion this guy across and put the A route on a streak. This is probably going to be the best setup. Uh, you can put your A and your Y route on zigs. Uh, but the B route really is the better route when it comes to attacking man coverage for a uh, one play touchdown as you can see right there he actually got bumped off the route and still made the play but that route does better against man than the other one does if you look at the b route and the x route they really run similar looking routes but there's a different break point and there's a different angle at which the b route takes and that makes it a better man beater it's really that simple that signifies a better man beating route so putting the a route on a streak to pull back that cover one safety uh, and then putting the X and the Y in a combination of drags and slants is really going to be your best option as far as check downs. Really up to you. Uh, but the B route, you can see, I mean, he just cooks this particular defender. And he's a very easy one-play touchdown against pretty much any man coverage as long as there's no safety over the top. You'll see if I do that on the other side. If I just run this play as is, um, the Y route or the X route a lot of times doesn't really get the runner's route. You can see that they really converge on that. So you really can't go that route. If you have a fast enough speed advantage, you can. But it's really better to do it this other way. Another good option is the, the A route's actually a pretty good man beater if you have a, a fast enough tight end. A lot of times he can get outside of man coverages, so you lose that as well. But there's a lot of man options. It's just that if you want the one-play touchdown, the easiest one is the motion this guy across. And then just make sure you don't have any deep uh, routes to get in the way. And you'll see how this B route will just get across the formation a lot easier. Like I said, it looks like he's going to run that route. Then he just gets out in front of it. And we have a very easy catch and run one-play touchdown against cover one or cover zero. So next up, we got cover four. Uh, we'll start off with cover four match and then we'll work our way back to cover regular. So we're going to go with cover four quarters to start. So we're going to highlight that route one more time. We're going to make that motion across. Like I said, this is the man beating route. This is the best, one of the better man beating routes on the play. I mean, obviously, Earth is a good man beating route as well, but that's the best one play touchdown man beating route. So then we're just going to put the RB route on a curl and the Y route on a curl and put the X route here on a comeback. This is all we really have to do. You're going to see how the X route now is pretty much going to just be wide open after a certain point. Although there, the pressure made me throw it a little bit early, but you can see he's absolutely cooking this cornerback. And if you watch the confusion that this route concepts creates, I mean, you can see that this cornerback doesn't even know if that's his responsibility until he's already getting cooked. This setup is probably the best uh, where you give yourself a, uh, a 10 yard out route on the Y route because if you do that, the running back actually can stay back and block even though running backs aren't necessarily the best blockers, um, it's still an additional blocking back. So if I do it like this, uh, we'll have a lot of success where this, this route will still get open and there won't be any safeties over the top of the there. I had the running back blocking, I still probably got the most pressure out of any of the plays that I played there. And then last but not least, we have cover four regular. So we'll go and pick that. To get the cover four regular, we'll have to go into our dime package, 146 and go down to cover four drop. Now cover four is very different than most defenses where you actually want to run it from the hash mark to the short side of the field. All you have to do for this set is block that tight end one more time, put the Y route on a streak and the B route on a drag. And this is going to be one play touchdown against cover four. Pretty easy one at that. As you'll see this X route, once he crosses that safety, he's well behind the strong safety. By that, I mean the free safety. If we go to the replay, this is all about timing. Once he gets inside of this free safety, you bullet, pass lead away which is basically in the direction to the right you can see he's well beyond the strong safety the strong safety will have no chance of flipping his hips and getting into his back pedal but he doesn't have to be past the free safety he just has to be inside of the free safety once he gets inside of the free safety you can see him already loading up 
bullet pass leading inside and we have a very easy one play touchdown against cover four it's another play that the pass lead is super critical if you want to have the a route on a drag too for another check down you can always do that i don't think you really need it i mean the y route actually does a pretty good job you need the running back too that's something i didn't really mention like in some other plays you don't need the running back but in this play to create that effect you need that curl route or that swing route now there is a slew of really good plays in this particular formation one of my favorites is probably the verticals the verticals play is something that is really hard to cover no matter what particular defense you're in so we're going to pick that on the defensive side we're just going to go back to nickel but this time we're going to pick random nickel 335 so this play here all i'm going to do against pretty much any defense is put the a route on the streak and put the y route on a drag that's all i really have to do the drag is the check down i like the running back on the comeback route although realistically i can put him on an actual comeback route like here he's on like a check and release which means it's not guaranteed he's going to run it but doing it like this Pretty much the B route and the A route are going to go open against just about every single defense. Now the B route here, this looks like, I don't know what that was, but you can see by the time the ball is in the air, he's 40 yards down the field. There is no zone drop that you can set to 40 yards. This is one of the reasons this is one of the glitchiest routes in the game. This plate has a great share of successful checkdowns with the Y route and the RB route running back. Uh, like I said, I like the actual curl. I, I think that that timing wise is just a little bit better. But ultimately, this play is really all about this B route. As you can see right here, this is a man zero blitz. That's an absolute destroyer of man coverages. And since it gets open past 40 yards, it's going to beat any zone coverage as well. So we're going to do that one more time. Like I said, this is something I don't really care what defense I'm looking at. Here it looks like we have a cover two. The A route probably would have been open as well. But you can see this route, it's getting open at 40 to 45 yards. No zone drop depth is going to be back there. Now, if you want extra blocking, you can get it with the running back, but you can't sacrifice the tight end. Here we got another man coverage. Like I said, we're just going to absolutely cook any man coverage and any zone coverage. Do that a little bit early, but I mean, the pressure was getting there. So ultimately, any man or zone, that route is going to destroy, which is why I like this particular play. Here it looks like the A route is an option as well, but like I said, I'm always going to go here. That's a 45-yard route by the time the ball is completed. No zone drop is going to stop that. This is actually a very successful one-play touchdown against cover four as well, which I didn't really... Um, the last one-play touchdown against, against cover four was a good play, but this one's even better. So we're going to go ahead and pick that. We're going to show cover four drop. This route absolutely glitches out cover four uh, regular. For what reason? I don't know. All you have to do is block the tight end. That's all you got to do. And watch how this B route just runs right behind the corner back like he doesn't think it's his responsibility as you can see i mean it's a really easy completion over what's essentially a prevent defense in cup four they said i've highlighted this in a lot of different videos i don't know why this route reacts this way or why the cornerback rather reacts this way but he doesn't drop back the same way he doesn't think it's his responsibility i think on this particular play it has a lot to do with the fact that i do have a short route underneath to the running back which i think probably does more to keep that player down but like i said this round's just a glitch when it comes to cover four and it's a glitch against most defenses as well so if that play like i said beats any man or zone it's especially good against cover four we have a lot of really good plays going the opposite direction as well the best one is probably the pa slot corner this is another play you can run against just about any single defense in the game so let's go and let's pick that on the defensive side we're going to continue to go random this play to me is all about the B route. Whether you want to put the Y route on a streak or whether you want to sacrifice the drag, it's really up to you. I would say the drag makes the most sense because I can always drag my tight end. This is pretty much going to be the play. The B route is pretty much going to get open against just about every single defense in the game, especially like that would look like a cover three. The cornerback's getting pulled back by the streak. The Y route is really one of the things that clears the play, so that's why I like to keep it there, because like I said, right, you can see that the Y route basically freezes that defender. I don't even have to know what defense this is. This particular route's gonna get open against just about every single defense game, man or zone. So this is something where, like I said, I don't have to have a great you know ability to read a defense. I just know that that route's gonna be there all game long. It's something that's going the opposite direction from most of the plays I've run today. So that's something that's going to be very easy for, you know, my, my opponent will probably forget about it. Here it looks like it was like a cover four quarters or something like that. The safety had no chance. That, like I said, that route, it's one of the better routes in the game. This particular route that I've been highlighting as far as how it beats man, now with this setup it easily beats zone. You can see the safety's waiting there to pick that up but there's just nothing that he can do about it. He just covers it very poorly. So that's it, that's the video. If you guys want to see more from this playbook, as always, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section, and I'll do that. Other than that, thanks for watching, man, my shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.